What up guys, Monsu Nick here with another FIFA 19 Ace Milan career mode video here. This one will be coming up against Crotone away in the league, then we'll be versing Torino in the quarterfinal of the Coppa Nazionale, and also after that we will be having transfer deadline day. Don't think there'll be any more transfer that I will be making anyway, but I'll still go through to the 1st of February to show you if there is any other transfers that we do make. So let's get into this first match here. This will be the team that we're using for this first match. Going very well this season, especially Thomas Chancellor, who scored 19 goals already in the league this season for us. So let's hope he can get his 20th goal and hopefully a couple more after that as well in this game. So let's get this one started. Can he add to the goals he scored already this season? He's already the top scorer in the league. What a match. And it's live. Hopefully we're able to get a pretty good win in this one, hopefully, to continue our win streak here in the league. Hopefully we can go undefeated as well. So let's, but let's concentrate on this match here today against Catrone. So let's get this one started. As we can see, there's a tale of two teams where Catrone has only scored 14 goals while we've scored 77. So it's the best attacking team versus the worst here. So let's hopefully we can add a few to our collection here today as this game is about to get kicked off. And it is. And hopefully we do come out with a early goal or early-ish goal in this one and we are able to win possession here pretty much straight after kickoff and Arna tried to get it forward here but I went straight to the Catrone player who did play it forward here but Arna is able to win back possession for us here and we are doing some nice passing to get Changnoglu through who cuts in trying to get it to Chancellor didn't really work but it goes to Alenia who finds Brayla who gets it out to Vinicius Jr. Cutting in, but his pass wasn't too that bad, wasn't too great, and it's a throw in here for us. And hopefully we can get something out of it. As Chancellor gets it, gets it back to Dodo, switches it to Arna, who gets it back to Tavero. Now into Alenia, back to Tavero. Now to Brayla, tries to cut it in once more, but unfortunately it didn't work and it's cleared. Catrone now trying to build their way forward here out on the right wing but Upicano is able to come in and win it and he gets it to Brayla here now who's in the stride of his own trying to find Chancellor. Chancellor does eventually get to it able to turn a couple defenders and he is able to put it into the back of the net to get his 20th league goal in the season here great finish there by the young Argentinian That was a perfect finish there by Catrone, able to turn his defender and able to put it into the far hand post of where he was. And we are able to win it back here from the restart with some nice passing, trying to get it over to Chancellor once again. He tries to dink the keeper, but he does unfortunately miss the ambitious effort. Catrone getting their foot way forward here. Upicano does win it though. And Trevero finds Barela. Able to get around his defender with a couple step overs. He finds Vinicius Jr. now. He takes a great touch. And he finds Chancellor for his second goal here. And his 21st of the season in the league. Grab the second chance here. 
to go wherever you look at it. It was very well taken. They still have got a decent chance in this match. Braille finds Chance Lay. He does the ball over the back line here to Vinicius Jr. Takes a touch and he's able to get it in with the perfect volley there. And he's able to make us get the 3-0 lead here. Just before half time as well. Chancellor is getting this second half kicked off here now. Let's hope we can try and add a few more goals to our tally here as we get up forward pretty quickly here. As Vinicius Jr. gets it from Chancellor, able to get around one defender and another. Try and back post to Changnoglu didn't really work. Trevero is able to get it to Chancellor now. He's able to get around a couple defenders and he almost gets into the back of the net as well. At Simi now. Some mistakes there by the two teammates are able to come out on the counter attack here as Vinicius Jr. is being put into some space, but he does lose out there unfortunately. And Catrone tried to pass out there, but didn't really work. Vinicius Jr. going to get the cross into Chancellor, and he is able to put it into the back of the net with a nice touch there, and he's able to get his hat trick in this one as the score is now 4-0. Gasparoni now able to get into some space here. I'm trying to get around a couple defenders. He does lose it, but it falls for pretty sure that's Brailler. He's able to get into the back of the net and he's able to get our fifth goal here as we just cap off this dominating performance here in this one. Not much long left here to go in this one. Been a very dominating performance here by us with another hat trick by Chance Lay. And we're trying to build up another last attack here as Vinicius Jr. is able to get it in. Unfortunately, couldn't get it to Timothy Weyer, who did come on for Chance Lay, who does deserve a break. But we will be getting a corner out of that. And it's probably going to be our last attack of the game. Didn't really get to anyone, but it's going to fall back to Chagnoglu here. Great touch there, trying to get it in one more time, but unfortunately didn't get tackled. And the referee does blow the final whistle here, as we do win this one 5-0, as Chance go gets the ball for his hat-trick. Great performance there by the young Argentine. Could have an edge to it, isn't it? Because I know the home team are pretty upset with what. And now the shot. Well, that's the opener, and it's been coming. The better side, but you have to score when you're on top. We wondered whether. The... He actually went right. Good vision. This 
might be it. Well, he scored, and it's a big moment for them in the match. They've pushed their lead now to two ahead. They've played well to this point, and sometimes... Well, that's over the top of the defender, and one to chase. And in the shot go, and he scores. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. Good score! Good connection, just off target over the top. Yeah, that has flown off his foot. Just looking at the tactics of... Oh, he's so capable from this distance, Martin. Wasted free kick opportunity, really. I don't think he's going to get another chance by the, the look of his teammates. They're disgusted. Well, then it goes. Wonderful goal. Three of the best. He's made them pay. And that completes a wonderful hat trick. Great touch on the ball. Some options now for the pass. He's in here. Delightful touch to score the goal. This will be the squad I'll be using for this match against Torino in the Coppa Nazionale. Obviously I want to go and try and win that trophy this season as well. So let's hope we can go out and get a good win here in this one as well. But if this team doesn't perform, of course, we've got Thomas Chancellor on the bench just in case we need him. Here he is, the top scorer in the league, the main feature of our match today. And it's live. Hopefully we can come out with another win in this one, but it's definitely going to be a bit tougher, a bit more tight if it's only a couple goals in it, as if we do lose we'll get knocked out unfortunately, but obviously I go into every match to win, so let's hope we're able to come out and beat Torino here, as the player to watch is Alisson Player. He scored three goals in the last three matches for Torino. So definitely have to shut him down in this one. And score a few goals of our own. To hopefully continue into the next round of the Coppa Nazionale. As Coutrone does get this one kicked off here. And he's able to get it to Anthony Martial. He's able to come up pretty quick. And he's able to get it out to Suzo. Now to James. Now to Coutrone. Early shot. And he's able to get it in off of the block shot there and we do have the very very early lead here as we do get the score up to 1-0 well, well, Donnarumma taking his goal kick short to Caladra. He's able to find Romagnoli here. Drives the ball up top to Martial. And it works as well. As he finds, almost found Catrone there. As Torino do try and build out up and attack here. With Falke out wide on the right wing. Ricardo Rodriguez trying to chase him down as they get him to Mbai Niang. The former AC Milan player. They do get the ball in. Unfortunately, it has gone in. Don't know how that went in. Could have done a little bit better, but not sure how that actually went in, to be honest. It is now unfortunately one all here as we do get this one kicked off once again. It's Catrone able to get his way around. He gets it to Aurier who is able to make it 2 1 now. What a finish! Three goals in the first 10 minutes of this game. This is what the fans have come to see.
To be honest, I thought Aura was offside for a second there as, uh, yeah, as Catrone put the ball through and Torino try and get forward once again. Donnarumma comes out, he's able to clear it here and Suzo gets over to Martial here now. Hopefully we're able to get another one here. Tries to get it to Suzo and unfortunately the Torino defender was able to read the play there and it, unfortunately it's out for a Torino throw in. Aura was able to win it back there for us. Kese gets it to Catrone. Catrone able to get around his defender. And he scores his second. And our third as well. 3-1 now in the first 15 minutes. What a game. Torino trying to build up an attack here, but they do turn it over, but we turn it over straight away, and they're trying to come out at us, but Ricardo Rodriguez was able to win possession back here for us now, as Kese is able to find Martial, he's able to get around his defender, gets it to Suzo now, he finds Calabria, he's going to cross it in trying to find someone, finds James Rodriguez, and eventually goes into the back of the net. That don't know if that's going to be counted as James Rodriguez's goal, but it is now 4 1 to Milan. Ricardo Rodriguez now able to find James Rodriguez. Now he finds Catrone, who's waiting for some runners here, gets it to James. Who tries the shot does get saved there by Sirigu. They do try and clear it here. Suzo gets it though to Kese. But that pass forward was not meant to go to Martial, but Aura instead. James Rodriguez now up to Catrone. Trying to wait for a runner here now. Gets it to Aura, takes a shot, and he's able to score the goal as well, as the score is now a massive. 5-1. Ricardo Rodriguez now. Getting it up to Anthony Martial. Cuts back in, getting up to Castellejo. Unfortunately, couldn't get a shot off there, and it is cleared eventually. Romagnoli wins ahead to Ricardo Rodriguez. He's in a fair bit of space. Now he gets it out to Martial. Able to get around def one defender, around another, and into the back of the net as well. He's able to waltz his way into the box, and he's able to nicely place it into the back of the net as we now have the 6-1 lead Torino with a free kick here now. Trying to get it into Niang. Didn't really work. Castileo now gets it to Ricardo Rodriguez, who finds Anthony Martial. He now gets it to Castilejo, 
able to turn around his defender to get it to Chancellor. And he's trying to turn his defender as well. As he gets it to Martial, gets it back to Chancellor, takes a shot, and he's able to bag a goal as well, as the score is a big 7-1 scoreline. Not much time left to go, as Chancellor is able to get another one to his collection here. Very, very big scoreline here. He didn't really expect it to be in this match. I expected to be in the first match that we played. But Torino do get a chance here, but it goes straight to Donnarumma. As there's not much time left to go in this match. We're going to try and get it up once more. But unfortunately that pass by Martial wasn't too great. And they're able to pass out of the defence here, Torino. They're going to try and get one last chance themselves, but Braley comes in with the tackle and does give away the free kick, and he will be getting a yellow card for his efforts there, as I reckon this will be the last play of the game, as it is over extra time here. His player tries to whip it in, and it does eventually get to Donnarumma. He's just going to clear it up forward as the referee does blow his whistle, and we are 7-1 victors. Did not expect that scoreline, but everyone was able to contribute to the win. down to kick off in the quarterfinal of the Coppa Nazionale. Saw the goal and went for it. Well, they've broken through here with a really good goal. And the celebrations reflect that. The supporters are going crazy. Coming on strong and looking to play. Building steadily here, keeping possession. And it's a shot now. And there it is, the equaliser. touch on the book got to be never panicked placed it past the goalkeeper it could be a chance beautifully guided past the goalkeeper I think it's a one goal game here. Can really get at the opposition here. Wonderful chance. Well, that's a goal with class written all over it. It looks wonderful when it comes off. Not quite so when he doesn't. He could cross it now. Martial. Well, that's a goal with class written all over it. It looks wonderful when it comes off. Not quite so when he doesn't. Anthony Martial has to score. It's a goal. As I said at the start of this episode, I would continue through to the transfer den last day and tell you if there have been any other signings, which there have not. And as you can see here with the players in, in and out, the only player that we have brought in is Aura for 23.4 million. Uh, is also for Bonaventura as well. And the only other player out is Biglia for 9.3 million. So let's continue forward and have a look at our youth squad monthly reports that will be coming through here.
as we can see they are through here now that transfer deadline day has ended so as our monthly scout the report or at least this guy as he doesn't have that great a potential nor these couple players here and these are the rest of them here so far now for our first monthly scout and update from Australia let's hope there are a couple decent players in here doesn't look like so far and of course there isn't when I do ask for some now for the Portuguese bunch here nothing real good so far either this guy looks to be pretty decent at 15 years old and that's it for Portugal now for the Italian one he looks to have some decent potential and so does he and hopefully there's a couple more and it doesn't look like it and that will be it for the youth squad monthly reports for this month well, I hope you guys did enjoy this one as we got two very very big wins here with the first one being the 5-0 win over Catrone away in the league and then the 7-1 thumping of Torino in the quarterfinal of the Coppa Nazionale and in, in February we have a very very big month as we do have our next game in the Champions League which as you can see will be against Chelsea but we won't be playing them in the next episode we will be playing Hellas Verona and also Lazio and as I said we do have a very big month as we're also versus Torino once again as well as I just said Chelsea in the round of 16 in the Champions League and a few other pretty big games as well to round out the month so I hope to see you guys in the next one and please do subscribe to the channel that would be very very appreciated and also to like the videos to show that you are enjoying these as well and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a good day.